Hi, I'm Monica. On trail lunch is my favorite part of the day. We take time to have a hot meal, rest, and laugh. Join us every day on the Appalachian Trail as the water boils. So he got off and went back home and got the car in West Tennessee. And he's driving, because I gave him my setup I used to have when I worked out of a camera. So he's using that to put the car up. And I got him some pots and pans on the stove so he cooks. All I ask him to do is cook some hikers every now and then, you know? Good deal for him. Okay, we need that. This guy. Let me chop some onions. I think I'll be eating hot dogs today. Yeah. Mm. We have a crazy as the water boils for you today. This is Fresh Grounds Leapfrog Cafe. He bounces around and does year round trail magic. We're going to get to sign the van after we've been here. Oh. Amazing. There's some serious water boiling going on over here. Woo! Look at that oil boiling. As the oil boils, that's our. That's what's happening today. This right here, this is fresh grounds. He is. Hey y'all. Oh, making fries. All right. So tell us. Can you tell us your story and chop? So I started uh, in 2013 doing trail magic, and I uh, used to do like two months at a time, and eventually this has grown to this. Whoops. Yeah, what's the what's the inspiration? What what happened? Well, for me, it's a ministry, you know. For me personally, but, yeah. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people donate to keep this thing going. I have a really good system that works really well. It's very efficient, and uh, I mean, and you know, we want everybody to come in and just have a good time. Feed them and love them. That's the motto. Yes. Uh, hopefully, you'll get that. Oh, get I'm time. feeling love. <laughs> I'm feeling love, and food is love. Oh, yeah, I feel love. I mean, yeah, no discrimination. We have three big rules. Don't go behind the table when I'm cooking. Wash your hands before you eat, everybody. And uh, don't bring up divisive subjects. That's all I ask. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Fair Pretty enough. Easy. Oh, boy. All right. So so then, as a result, yeah. as a result, the topic for the evening cannot be divisive. <laughs> <laughs> Although Easter's tomorrow. We could yeah. talk resurrection. That's right. I've got y'all with chocolate bunnies. Let's morning. talk resurrection. Oh, oh, you have to split though. it. <laughs> okay, look here. That's what we're doing. As the water boils, on Easter Eve, I'm going to read you a. I'm going to read you a poem later. I wish I could read it to you right now. It's by John Updike. It's called Seven Stanzas at Easter, but I can't read it right now. What does the resurrection mean? What? No, I'm going to ask it differently. What does Easter mean to you? Plates are there. Buns are here. Everybody wash your hands. Okay. What does Easter mean to you? You want us to wash our hands again? Yeah, you have to wash them just one time. Well, one time. We that little is all about the Easter eggs. Get some fries going, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, but now I think about the resurrection. You do. What is what is this resurrection of which you speak? Um. <laughs> oh, it didn't matter. I, I'm, I'm, I've been sitting over there feeding. Uh, Two hikers um, and three trail maintainers. What do you mean? What is the resurrection? Hmm? And I thought, you know, nobody's Jesus come through. Jesus thought some rose from the dead. And I said, let me just from rattle with this. I've never been to this side. Right. I thought, let me rattle okay. and just see. All right. Did you know? All right. The question on the table is, what does the resurrection mean to you? Uh, to me, it means that... Or no, what does Easter mean to you? You can say eggs Easter if you want. Easter means family, fun. Um, you get to celebrate Jesus coming back alive and what he sacrificed for us. And he took away all our sins. And yeah. Boom! All right. What does Easter mean to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that from the dead. Have I been Maybe. close to y'all? Y'all heard and about that? Well, okay. We don't have to worry. Yeah. One day. Oh, yeah. oh no, I, I lost you. I cut you right off. Okay. And that we don't have to worry. Crawford kids at car. Oh. I did. Yeah, I did. It was the car I used to do. I don't know. Yes, we don't have to worry like about um, to me. never <laughs> yeah, leaving us again or dying we again. We called it, um, um, what do we call yeah. that car? Hikers got bug, yeah. Oh, Steve uh -huh. Stunk so bad. It was a horrible looking car. So what happened was uh, he asked me to sell it to her. I said, no, I give it to you because I was going to junk it. So 
So I did a little work to it, got her some tires on it, and then gave it to her. Yeah. You know, so first. All right. Yeah, I know. Two tenths. What does Easter mean to you? To put you on the spot. Easter to me is uh, Jesus coming back from the resurrection. Um, gathering with family and friends and having a good meal and celebrating uh, Jesus coming back to life. Oh, so. That was amazing. Was, I've got tears in my eyes. Edo. Res, res, uh, Easter. Easter? Just what it means to me? Yeah. Um, I think it means that Jesus saved us. Hey, watch that hot. Yeah, Super. You're good. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy you did. <laughs> Monica, what does Easter mean to you? Oh, On Easter Eve, yeah. Easter means... Oh, wait. He's, it's not a device to talk about. Anyway, go ahead. Um... Yeah, grab a plate. Yeah. Easter means new life. So why did y'all decide to do this? And um, this is, uh, I don't know. Means everything. Uh, <laughs> we've done the, I don't know. It's all good stuff. Crown? Yeah. As a family. Um. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm not very eloquent. <laughs> it's all in here. It's all in here. <laughs> okay. Do you want to ask you. me questions to help me out a little bit or no? <laughs> Um, I'm about to eat a hot dog. We'll see. We'll see if we'll see. We'll see it. What's the value? No, I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. I'm, um, I'm, I really love this. He's not missing. You know that, right? So, church. Okay. Celebration of Easter. Okay. North is coming. But I'm really glad Easter. You'll see. No switchbacks in the north, y'all. And yeah. after Maryland, it turns into Thank box, you. Right? <laughs> Just letting you know, right. there's nothing wrong with that. You be ready for it. This is where we are tonight. Enjoying an unbelievable hey, kindness uh, from fresh grounds. He, he drove this van right across, right up this gravel road, and turned right in here, right as we walked down that trail. Unbelievable timing. Unbelievable. Tomorrow we celebrate Easter. We're excited. I'm going to read them a poem. Seven stanzas at Easter. Go check it out. It's really cool. It's John Updike. Make no mistake. If he rose at all, it was as his body. Pretty cool poem. Thanks for watching. For even more riveting content, visit our Patreon.